Jamie here from the Prospector team. Now, we're on location in Dublin at the moment in a really, really nice hotel overlooking the docks in Dublin, which you can see behind me. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the perfect spot right here to show you how powerful Prospector actually is. Now, we're in a hotel room, of course, and I'm gonna show you in just a second how I can prospect, find businesses in need of video right now, anywhere in the world while I'm sat in this room. So we're gonna head over to my laptop right now. We're gonna fire it up, fire Prospector up, and let me show you how this tool works. Okay, so what makes Prospector different? Well, Prospector is a lead tool, but it's a much different lead tool than what you might be used to. Most lead tools out there on the market do what we like to call the scattergun approach, where they will scrape thousands of leads for you at the touch of a button, and you can email all of, the, all of those leads. But that's pretty much it. And that's the wrong way to go about prospecting. Prospecting is much more complex than that. And Prospector was built with complexities in mind to make it simple for you to use and get clients. So what I mean by that is Prospector works in three different ways. Firstly, Prospector will find you leads anywhere on earth, as I'm gonna show you in just a second. Prospector will then analyze each and every single one of those leads for you, finding opportunities for you to go out there and sell. And then Prospector will allow you to prospect from within the tool as well with the click of a button in multiple different ways. It's very powerful and I'm gonna jump on my laptop right now, it's next to me and we're gonna show you how this works. So I'm gonna jump in here right now on Prospector. So the first thing you're gonna see when you log into Prospector is the screen like this. And this is where you begin your prospecting. And you begin your prospecting by having to find leads. So to do that, it's really simple. Now, bearing in mind, I'm right now in a hotel in Dublin. Um, I'm from the UK, I live in the UK normally. I'm in a hotel in Dublin, and I'm gonna prospect businesses in New York. So it doesn't matter wherever you are on earth, you can use this tool to prospect any area you want. And that's what makes it very, very powerful. Now, I'm gonna look for, let's look for hair salons. So we type our keyword in the box here and then we type in the location. So we're gonna go with New York. So it's gonna find that there. Now you do have advanced options as well where you can actually search a radius of an area um, and, and set up all these other things as well. I'm not gonna to touch that for now. Um, we're just gonna do the default search. Then we're gonna begin. So literally with one click, Prospector is going out there right now and it's finding hair salons in New York, I'm in Dublin, um, that we can potentially prospect. Now, while it does the search here, um, what it's actually going to do is it's not just going to find the leads, you know, finding leads is easy. What it's doing as it's searching here is analyzing each and every single lead. It's going to find if these businesses have Facebook profiles, if they have Twitter profiles, if they have YouTube or Vimeo or any video embedded on their website, very powerful. It will then tell you things about the video on their site. Is it a broken video? Is it HD? Is it less than one minute long? Have they got videos on their pages that are longer than five minutes long, for example? It gets you all of the, the data you need to prospect these businesses. Data that the only way you could do that before Prospector is to sit there for hours and hours and hours combing through every single business website looking for opportunities. So it's finished the, the lead search now, um, and I'm gonna show you exactly what it's found. So if we go back to the results here, um, you will see straight away, it's found tons and tons of hair salons in uh, New York. We can show more down here as well. Um, these are all salons where we've got opportunities. Now you'll see that we've got these icons right next to each of the salons. So the top one here, um, Tokuyama Salon in East Village, um, it's let us know that it's found an email address for this particular business. It's also found with this little video icon here, a video. So by just tapping on this business, we're able to analyze everything about it. So here's what it's found. We've got the email address, that's fine, but it's found a video on their site. So we now know that this particular business has a video. That's gonna change our approach. We also have a Facebook and a Twitter uh, handle for this particular business. So we can click on these links here, open them up, check them out in more detail if we want to. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now just to save time. But again, we can dig into all of these businesses. It's also found all of their who is information as well. So we can find out business owner details, business owner names. We can find that this website was built on WordPress, um, how big the site is, um, Alexa rank, a word count, even if they've got Google Analytics installed. So it's giving you all bits of information about each individual business. 
Now, you can go through each of these individual businesses. Um, there's another one down here, Giovanni. It's actually found a YouTube video for this business and it's pulled the YouTube video here. By clicking on this video, it's gonna open up YouTube and it'll show you the actual video. So you can actually check out what these businesses that have got video are actually doing. Now, here's where it becomes very powerful. Prospector has already done the work for us when it comes to um, actually looking at these businesses and analyzing them for opportunities. We can now, with a click of a button, know that there are, there are probably 80%, 85% of the businesses it's found that are in need of video. Um, so what can we do about that? Well, the best thing we can do is prospect. So the third step of Prospector, it's not just a lead tool, it doesn't just do this powerful thing of analyzing for you, it will let you prospect from within the tool. So we click on the export results, and this is where it becomes extremely powerful. We can select who we want to email based on various different things. So we've obviously got the email contacts turned on. So this is gonna mean that when, when we start a campaign to send an email in a moment, it's going to send an email to everybody that we've got an email for, okay? So we obviously need that. So that's gonna be turned on by default. But we can now go through here and work out the type of campaign we wanna send out. So we could, if we want to, I could select this box here. And what's gonna happen now is if we send an email, it's only gonna send an email to businesses that have a video embedded on their website. Um, I'm not going to do that because I want to I want to prospect here um, for businesses that don't have video. I want to sell video. So we're not going to do that one there or any of these. So we can prospect to businesses that have short videos, long videos, things like that, or low resolution ones. Um, I'm going to choose low resolution because if somebody's got a low res video, it's likely going to be have been created um, by themselves. So we can certainly improve that. But I'm also going to choose no video link or embed. So that's going to mean that I'm going to email all the businesses that we found here that don't have a video or any embedded video links on their website. So we know they don't have video, so they're perfect to prospect. Um, I'm also going to choose the broken video one as well, but I'm also going to choose the Facebook page and Twitter handle. Now, the reason I'm going to do that is because the way I'm going to prospect here, I'm going to talk to these businesses. If you've ever run Facebook ads, for example, you'll know that you can literally target and categorize your Facebook ad to the people you want to target based on their interests. We're kind of doing the same thing here. I'm going to be able to write an email now to these businesses and I'm going to be able to talk to them because I know that, as if I know their businesses and I've not done any of the work prospector has. So let me show you. So I'm going to click on start campaign here. So once I've clicked start campaign, it's brought up our campaign manager here um, where we can contact those businesses we've just filtered out. So we can write our subject line in here. So um, interested, I mean, you, you would obviously write something a little bit better, a bit more witty than this, but interested in um, a video for your business. Okay, so you can put any subject line in there. Um, we're then gonna go into the, uh, the actual body of the email here, and I've got an email written, and I'm gonna quickly read this email out to show you how this is going to um, allow you to prospect in, in a completely different way. So, hey, my name is Jamie, and I run a company that helps businesses improve their video presence online. As you already have a social presence with Facebook and Twitter, sharing video on these social sites can be very powerful if done in the right way. So that one sentence there has pretty much personalized this email for every single one of those businesses without me having to do any of the work to work, work that out in the first place. Prospector has got that information for me. From what I can see, you don't have any business video yet, and this is something I can help with. So again, I know all of these businesses I'm about to email don't have video yet, or, or the video they do have isn't good enough. If you're interested in finding out how we can create video that generates you more clients from your Facebook and Twitter profiles, just hit reply. So I've got my email there that's literally written for the businesses that I filtered out in mind completely. And that's gonna improve um, our results from every single campaign we run. So once we've done that, we literally click on continue and our campaign is almost ready. Now, the cool thing with Prospect is it just doesn't just stop with you sending an email. What's gonna happen now is we can turn on a tracking pixel with every single campaign we send 
And what this is going to do is once, we, once we've sent this campaign, it's going to track every single email that was sent for every single one of those businesses. And it will tell us every single time one of those businesses opens their email. So it's literally going to show you who's interested, you know, who's opening your emails so that you can then do follow up campaigns and all of that stuff as well to generate even more clients. So we schedule the sending of campaign. Your campaign has been scheduled and we're done. The emails will be sent out shortly. That's all we've got to do. Prospect here in the matter of a few minutes, sat in a hotel room in Dublin. I have prospected hair salons in New York that don't have video, have Facebook and Twitter, that ultimately need video, and I've been able to create a prospecting campaign around them, again, while sat in this hotel room. So Prospector is the most powerful tool you've ever seen when it comes to prospecting for video, but for anything. You know, you could be selling social media services. Prospector will find you businesses that don't have Facebook or that do have Facebook, but really need it upgraded. You know, there's so many different things you can do with this tool. Now, Prospector goes live on November the 29th at 11 a.m. EST. We cannot wait for you to start using this and we cannot wait to bring this to market so that every single online marketer out there can get clients almost on autopilot. Now, to make sure you don't miss out on launch, don't forget to enter your email below and we'll let you know as soon as Prospector goes live.